Hello, uh, uh, welcome to our uh, next uh, program, the lab program. So now this is the eighth program. So now what does this eighth program st uh, states or tells us is that you have to develop and demonstrate uh, JavaScript uh, which contains a uh, three short paragraph of text, right? Or in general text or division or paragraph, whatever it is. Now we are going to stack on top of each other. So now each one should be on top of each other. Now, you have to implement or one of the important property which is called as a Z index here. So now you have seen n number of applications or website wherein which the content will be tagged or we can say it will be stacked on one after the other. To have that stacking nature of our uh, div tag or paragraph tag, so we are going to use one important property which is called as Z index. So that is what the eighth program tells us. Now let us try to understand this thing, right? So now we will just get this skeleton. So we are going to have it program 8 8 right now what we are going to do is that now we need to have three paragraph or three body or whatever uh, in the simple states we are going to have so now let us uh, try to create a, a div tag right right so we will use a emit abbreviations now we want to have a three div tag so now we, I will uh, use it as div dot right so just listen carefully due dot now i'm going to again type due this will be my class id then hash right and due so this will be the division id so one is class id and the other for each division i'm going to have an id dollar symbol now how many i want to create i want to create a three multiplied with so as soon as I enter so now you can see now I got three div so the class is always the class ID will be the same but the individual ID of this will be different so I have got ID div1 div2 and div3 so now for div1 so let us say this is my first para or we can say one this so let us write two and three clear so now let us save this program and uh, let us open it in our live server let us see what we are going to get so now we got one two and three now we will try to put some styling for this right so now we will go to write the style CSS style we will write now first for class we will write so and in general for the entire class so class id we have used is div so we'll write so we'll put some width for this let us say 50 pixel we'll have some height also 50 pixel we'll have some border let it border be solid and color let the color be black so now if you see here now what we are going to get is now you see we got some boxes here right now we have <coughs> we have put some boxes right so because this style style we have given this for our entire class now whether since we have three class uh, that is what one two and three at the div either it can be a div or in place of div we can give it as a paragraph tag p so you can make it as a p tag our program is telling paragraph for div whatever it is you can try to uh, make it so instead of div if you use paragraph this becomes three paragraph and some content are there in our paragraph so now for our entire class id div now we have set a style sheet so now for each of this div div1 div2 div3 now we are going to again set our css now for individual so it is not a class it is an id of our div so we are going to use hash right so div 1 so for the first div this is for this particular div that is 1 we will set some properties now we will make a background color for this as red we will set the background color as red now you see here as soon as you run this program so now for the first div the background color came as red color clear 
so now we have set the background color now we'll use some properties called as top so we'll set top as 50 pixels and uh, uh, we'll use left as another 50 pixel we'll see now this is what we are having so now like this same thing we will copy it and we have to put for another two right we have three dues are there so now this will change it to due two and this is due three now background color for this we will give it as blue and this will make it as green now if you save this now you see that red blue and green so we got now there is one important property because now these these divs are static in nature you cannot move it it's already it is fixed now let us go to right click on this we'll go to the inspect now when you look into the, uh, the inspect and if you go to our body now you can see now this is our div tag so which is present here this is the second div that is blue this is the third due so if you when you when you go into this particular due one so now we are in first due so what is that first due it is red in color now if you come here and element you can see here we have top 50 pixel left also 50 pixel now let us say i increase this top now you see that if i am increasing or decreasing my top there is no changes here because these changes won't affect this thing because it is in it is fixed to do that we have to set one particular property which is called as a position so we'll go to the div one and we'll use a position so we can have position when you type the position we have so many properties like say fixed by default it is static in nature that is why we are not able to see the movement so uh, this z index that is stacking one on the other now what we want is now we we have seen that three colors red blue and green it is just like one one box we want to put one one box one on the another we want to stack it right now this to do that we have to use a property called as z index z index will only apply when you are using the position when it is absolute when it is relative or is right so now we will just take the position as relative by default and we'll put that z index so we have got the property z index by default z index will be zero if you type anything or if you don't type by default z index is zero now we'll save this program now we'll see that now you see the one has come here previously it was here right so this red color is division now so now the top we have given 50 and 50 now whereas for blue also we are given top as 50 and left as 50 now whereas this we have made it as relative the position for red we have made it as relative now similarly let us say that for second division also we will make it as relative only let us see what happens we'll copy this two and we'll we'll use the same thing for our due two and we'll use it for due three now we'll save and see the program now you can see that now we have all these three things properly just like what are the another we are going to get clear so now we'll go to the first division red color now <coughs> see that i will increase the top position so now top is 50 pixels now i am increasing the top now what is happening is that now when i'm increasing the top now you can see that the red color it is shrinking right now if you click on here if you if you go to inspect now you see here when you when i just take the mouse cursor on the first div so the border highlighted one you can see that the red color one is behind that blue color it is there actually the width has not decreased only it has moved it down so we have moved it down so that is what is happening here so to get more effect of this particular thing so now let let us go to this top and we will see we will make that previously how much it was we kept 50 50 pixels right so we'll make this as 
50 pixels I will come to this one I have to blue color now let me increase the left position I want it to be placed one after the other so that I can uh, we can see the effect of uh, what do you say let me decrease the top okay this much is enough right so let us make it 65 left is 65 for blue and we'll increase the top also we'll decrease the top let us make top as 30 right so now blue top is 30 left is 65 now whatever changes we have done here it is going to be affected only on this page it does not affect our program it is static so by doing this we can see which position where it has to come so we'll take this value and we'll change it in our program so top 30 and 65 for blue so top will make 30 and this will make 65 right so now we'll come to the third one green so we want green again to be placed on blue color so we'll make top 15 and its left property eighty. Okay, let us keep it as eighty. Fifteen and eighty. So we'll make changes. This is fifteen and this is eighty. Now I'll save the program. Now do three. Right, think from there is a problem. Mm. What has happened? 50 50. Or we'll make the top of this 50 is there, right? So we'll make it as 100 or 70. We'll make we'll make this as 100. Let, now let us see. Still okay. Uh, let us take red is okay in place. The blue okay. so we'll try to see uh, what how much should be. I will have to adjust these positions carefully so that. Uh, each of this comes exactly like how uh, one of the other or let us make a we'll make top as 100 pixel from d1 so this will this also will make top and left as 100 for next we'll make 130 and 120 and for third one we'll make 150 and 140 okay so i think still some problem is uh, we are getting uh, or we'll make it as we'll change the position as absolute still we are finding some problem so 100 uh, we made it as 130 but we have missed pixel we have to type pixel otherwise we are going to get the error so 120 pixel this will make 150 pixel this is 140 pixel right so now we'll save this yes so now we got one on the one on the other now if you look here carefully now for the first pick that is our first div which is red in color what is our z index z index is zero right by default the z index will be zero now just imagine now this actually green red is on back on top of this two is a uh, blue color is been stacked on top of that the green color is there now if you just notice here if i increase this z index 
that is from 0 if I make it as 1 now you can see the effect what you can see so the the red color has come on the top right the red has come on the top now you go to the blue one now blue what is this red uh, z index it is 0 now I will make this as let us say 5 I will make this as 5 5 means any numbers you can give only to give is that z index the larger the number you are giving the the higher numbers you are giving it says that that particular div or that particular paragraph will be nearer to us it will be stacked on top so if i give if you make any particular number now five if i make this the blue color has come on the top right now if i if you go to the third one green now actually green z index is zero now if i make the z index as two now there is no changes here because the highest z index is blue which is 5 we have given if you give more than that particular 5 like say 6 now the green is going to come on top of that this is what that the the value of z index we are going to see now what our program what we want to do is that when we move the mouse on this particular boxes or the paragraph or division so when i when i move the mouse on mouse we can say move the move the mouse on blue color this blue box should come on the top if i move it on red color red should come on the top now that is what we want to do it so for doing that so what we do we have to move the mouse right now you are supposed to move the mouse so we will on each boxes when you are going to move so we will come here we will write a function on mouse move so we have a function called as on mouse move so that is the click event so when you move the mouse we are going to call a function let me call, we will write a function called as move now for this function so we will pass the div id so which is this particular div id so that i can change the z index of this particular div id so what is the div id it is div 1 so you are, you are moving on this particular division 1 on the or that particular box 1 right now this is the the function what we have written so now that is on mouse move so we'll just copy this particular function now this i'll change it to to this i will change it to 3 so as soon as we move the mouse on the respective boxes so you are going to call this function and you are going to pass the that which is the id of that particular thing so now we will come to our script right so we will use the css script here now we will take a variable now observe carefully top layer so we will write one function one variable called as let us say top layer now initially we will set this top layer to let us say div3 any layer you can set now let me set the top layer as div3 now one variable some value i am going to give so now we will write a function called as move so as soon as you move the mouse on that particular block now what you want so so it calls this function on mouse move you are going to call the function it comes here now you are passing this respective ids so you are going to pass that id so we will use a variable let us say to top let that be our top layer right so now in this particular function so we will use document dot get element or get element id document dot get element by id what is the id so your top layer so what is our top layer dot style right now initially whenever we want now we want to set all the z index to zero so that is why we will say dot style dot z index is equal to zero i'll set it to zero now when you move the mouse on say second box right so this div you are passing it to this function it comes into your to top now what we want is that we want to change this z index we want to make this z index as larger than the all the other initially whichever you are moving 
you are setting it to zero now what you do is that now you take the document dot get element by id so what is that id to top right now this style dot z index will make it as one so i'll make this particular z index as one so now its z index has changed to one now that uh, that index we will copy it into we'll assign that to our top layer so to top so now this what we made this to top we made it as z index as one now that we assign it to top layer now so that that layer comes on our top or that block comes on our top of that another one so now let us save and run this program now observe carefully now now we are moving this mouse so now i move the mouse on blue box so blue box is coming on top of the green so what has happened here is that so what we did see right so blue that is z index now you can see on the right hand side here the changes simultaneously what changes is going to happen so on the right hand side now you can just observe here in your inspect section where the highlighted one so z index due to right now z index of due to is one whereas z index of due due three is zero right so now if i if i move it to red color so its z index is changing now you can see here on the right hand side due once z index has become one all other two it has become zero now you see here the second due one now the third due is becoming one this is what now we are going to understand how this z index is working so as soon as you move the mouse so now the index you are going to change when you move it outside so now this is green is having z index one other two is zero if i blue so now blue becomes index becomes one which is greater than the other two so it comes on the top of that so this is your eighth program right so this is our part eight program now the b program so what actually we are doing in this eighth program so as soon as we have just created a three due right due or a paragraph we have given it as one two three we have set some uh, general class some css style for the class that is width uh, height and some box right we have made a border like just like uh, it looks like a box for us then for each division we have set the background color top and left so that we want one box on the above the other so three division top left and property so now the position we have used the position relative or absolute you can use either relative or you can use the absolute position so z index will work only on relative or absolute right so then by default z index is zero if you give or if you don't give also this is same because by default it will be zero now in this particular divisions on mouse move when you move your mouse so this event is been triggered it calls a function move you are passing this id of this division due one it comes to this particular function document dot get element id so now this top layer initially whatever the top layer here you have given three it makes that particular id z index value as zero then what you do is that you change the z index to one so that means because in this two top whichever box you are moving your cursor this due to comes into this now this two top its style dot z index you make it as larger so it comes on top of that so this here you have made the changes now that thing you just assign it to the top layer so you are going to make that as your top layer so whichever the z index you have made it as one clear so this is how we are working on our z index where you are going to uh, stack one content one paragraph on the other or one box on the other so this is our eighth a program i think it is very it's a very simple program try to practice eighth program so once you have understood the eighth program so now we will go to the part b of this particular 
program so where the part b program is it's uh, slightly changed now what we want is that now when you move the mouse now you can see the the second box is on top but as soon as if i move it out it should go to its original position right it is original position what was its original position it should go back so slight changes we are supposed to move we have to make into our particular program which will be our the part b of our eight program i think this particular program is very simple try to practice this program so have a nice day thank you very much